Hi, Mark here from Coach Better. Welcome to some more tips on the World Cup. Really good lesson here from the England team who have qualified from their group comfortably, looking one of the favourites. We're going to talk today about a principle of the game that they're using very, very well to their advantage. And it's the principle of opposite movement. And we're going to talk about how that looks from three perspectives. One, from an individual player's perspective. So how you can utilise opposite movement as an individual to create space for yourself. How can you utilise opposite movement as a pair, so in combination with someone else on the field, a teammate, to use opposite movement to again create and exploit space. And then ultimately as a collective, so as a unit of players, again, how can you utilise opposite movement to create and then exploit space. England, most of the tournament, have adopted a 4-3-3 formation. So, defensive line of four, a single pivot, two offensive midfield players, and then a front three. With Harry Kane typically dropping a little bit deeper to try and create some space for the wide players. Already, some form of opposite movement and combination. Harry Kane, short, wide player, long. Where England have been particularly effective is in the wide areas. And they've utilised opposite movement to make themselves very effective. Individually, you've seen the likes of Rashford, Sterling, Saka in particular, utilise and move it where they might go short first to bring the defender out of the space and then long to run into the space they've created. They've also got the option to work in tandem with someone else. So you can see here how they might work with their local number eight, i.e. winger comes short, number eight goes long. On the opposite side, you see the example where winger moves to the right, sorry, eight moves to the right, winger moves to the left. So eight moves outside, winger moves inside. Again, constantly looking to ask questions of the defence and create space and passing lanes. We're going to focus on that wide triangle. So you can see England's structure here. Back four, single pivot, two eights, number nine, two wingers. But we're going to focus on that wide triangle of a fullback, number eight, and wide player. And this is what England have used very well to upset opposition defences. You can see in this example, the opposition defence is probably perfect. Literally every single player in the perfect position. I can imagine the US coaches look at this image thinking, every one of my players is in the exact same hole I'd want them to be. We're compact vertically, compact horizontally, and we've also got good distances between players and units. However, what England do is they utilise some opposite movement to drag a defender out of his position and cause some chaos in the opposition defensive lines to create space. So we can see now Raheem Sterling has moved short and Mason Mount is going to move long. Opposite movement to create that space. Drag the right fullback out of position to then ideally receive the ball in space. We can see another example here. And this is where it becomes as a unit. So the receiver as well as the player about to distribute. And you can see, player on the ball gets their head up, England looking to utilise some opposite movement in partnerships. In this example, eight long, wide player short. What that should do is, like in the previous example, open up some space in behind. Or, if that defender's a move, it might even open up some space for Saka in this example to receive it and turn. And where England scored a goal from this was in their middle game. And what they did is exactly what we just talked about. You can see the opposition back line again, ticking every box for the coach. Compact, narrow, no space for him to exploit. However, we're going to focus on Rashford and Callum Wilson. Movement short, movement long. What's it done? It's dragged the defender out of his hole and created some significant space both in between these two centre-backs and in the space the full-back has left. England then work a simple up, back, through 
And suddenly now, from a situation where the defence were in control, they're through on goal and actually scoring a goal. So, how does this look to work with your players? Well, this is an exercise we suggest. Simple setup in terms of the players are based in a diamond with a server at the start. And what it allows you to do as coach is work through various different options for those players to make those type of movements. And we're going to see here, one player moves short, another player move long. And you as a coach then, with this simple setup, have got so many ways to work with the players in different topics. It might be one player moves inside, one player moves outside. One player moves short, other player spins long. Hopefully a simple practice to start to integrate those concepts. Good luck, take it into your coaching.